All right, what's up guys and girls? This is Glenn here once again with my brother. What's your Instagram? CT.100. CT over there. And today we got a different kind of video entirely. Something I've wanted to do for some time. Um, a lot of people who've met me and my brother have asked if my brother does some of the skipping training as well. So it's kind of it's kind of weird that we haven't done much training together. So we're going to get started now. He came up with a really cool idea, which was to do um, a transformation video, right? Yeah. Over a few, over, over a little period. So what we've done is we're going to do it over four weeks. One day out of each of those weeks. Today's a Sunday, so we're, we're going to try and get together every Sunday. Do 30 minutes of training for four weeks and see how far we can go. So we're gonna call it a four day transformation or a four week transformation, even though it's just gonna be one 30 minute session a week and we're just gonna see how far we can take this. So what's your, what would you say your experience is skipping so far? Honestly, Briefly. literally little to no experience. I've literally been just looking at my brother for most of the time, he's been doing this for ages watching what you do obviously being gobsmacked it's so um, it's so mad that we haven't done yeah it's, it's, it's just one of, it's just one of those ones like you've been you've been doing your thing yeah um uh, and we always knew this day was gonna come literally where i'm just gonna um like get a bit of training from yourself and yeah. of course i've always been working out like been going to the gym working out at home but doing specifically skipping mm. is something that i've never really focused on and i definitely want to get that under my belt Cool. Seeing as we live under the same roof as well. Yeah, so. I know, right? It's yeah. mad. All right, so we're gonna see how what we can do. So it's uh, we're gonna stop talking now and just get to it. So today's what Sunday? Sunday. Sunday, the thirtieth of June, and we're going for half an hour, no more than that. The time now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can get this. Time now is. 10 minutes to 12, oh sorry, 10 minutes past 12. So we're gonna finish up at 12.40. All right, all right, none of that, let's get to work. All right, so the time now is 12.45. I lost track of time a little bit and we've gone over by five minutes, but we tried to keep it to half an hour. We got through quite a lot today. We started off doing, what did we start with again? We started off with just basic 50 skips. 50 um, skips as a warm up. I kind of just wanted to see where um, he's at and the 50 skips was pretty easy for him, which is, which is good. tweaked some um, uh, rotation mechanics with the rope and the way he grips the rope and also the way you jump. Yeah, my right foot yeah. would tend to go a bit ahead of my feet. Yeah. So what you told me to do is you told me to jump on one point and actually look at my toes yeah. and just keep an eye on them just to make sure they're together. Just land and stop and look at your feet. So do that 10 jumps. Skipping it, that happened to me for over a year. You know that back issue I had with the MRF? That was because 
I used to skip with my right foot needing. I think it's because my right, my right foot does more work or something. I don't know. Yeah. And this has happened to me. I didn't realize this for like a year because it's so subtle. There was nobody to look at because I've, I've self-trained. I've trained myself from since 2012, I think it is. I can't remember, but there was no one to look at what I was doing and say that's wrong. I unfortunately picked up an injury due to having my feet in the wrong, um, not in line. So I noticed that with him, and I think it's a common issue when you have one foot that's slightly in front of the other that's kind of doing more work. So we, we got the feet in alignment. This was more at the beginning though. Um, got the feet in alignment so that we're jumping in the correct way going forward. So I think like, what you want to do, the reason why that's happening is because your right foot is doing most of the work. So you want to start as an exercise. You want to I start. feel like my right foot is making up for the lack of work that my right hand does. <laughs> um, after that, what did we do? After that, from, from that we went, we did like slow skipping into speedy skipping yeah. and back into slow skipping. So at this point, so we were doing quick skips and then slow skips, quick skips and then slow skips. And the reason for doing this is you're trying to get control of your coordination between the hands and the feet. It's a much better marker of your control of the rope if you're able to speed up and slow down and not lose your rhythm. Yeah. That shows that you're really in tune with, because the hands and feet are doing two different things. That shows that you're really in tune with keeping them coordinated. So you get your feet jumping at the required rhythm for your rotation speed, whether it's fast or slow. Um, do five or six regular ones, and then when you're ready and your mind's in tune, pick up the rope speed a bit and try and get those quick uh, single ones. We went on to side swings and we, yeah. we did some side swing stuff. So what you did, you showed me where your dominant hand should be, whether yeah. you're right or left handed, which yeah. is a good tip, not saying your right hand or your left hand, you said the above hand or below hand or yeah. the more dominant hand yeah, and yeah. the, um, what, what would you call it, um, recessive hand. Yeah, dominant, what did I call it? I call it leader and follower. I've done a yeah. video about this in the past called leader and follower. So, so this has helped me actually, because in the beginning I kept saying, because he's left handed, I kept saying, Okay, so your right hand's on top. I mean, your left hand's on top because I'm right-handed, so I was confused. So yeah. a much better way to describe it was to go with dominant hand is on top, 
because if your right hand did, if you're right handed, your right hand is dominant and vice versa. So the dominant hand on top, we're working on keeping that on top. So, so keep doing that? Okay, cool. So your issue now is a common issue. A lot of people have this way. When they go here, they switch their hands. Look, oh, see my right hand? Oh, you, want your, you want one hand to stay on top. Oh, okay. So the right hand stays on top like this. Your right hand, so if you think about it this way, yeah, the bottom hand, which is your, your, sorry, I keep saying your right hand, I mean, that, that's right. Hand. So it's like, yeah, you'll start, yeah, there you go, there you come back, and then continue. So, but I don't, I shouldn't be moving my torso like the start yeah. thing. That. The reason why is because your wrists are too stiff. So, look, instead of going like this, you're doing that. Yeah. So, that's why your whole upper body is moving. Your wrists are stiff. If you make your wrists loose, you don't really. Look, you don't have to move your upper body at all, it's just wrists. So yeah, so it's kind of like, so it's like the kind of wrist kind of like the other. Yeah, that's it, so you're going And then after that we did the entry and the yeah. exit so we finished with um, going from side swings entering into regular skipping and then exiting the skipping into side swings again so all right cool now that you've got the swing we're going to try and do an entry and an exit which is basically you're going from the swing to skip entering the skip and then exiting the skip to the swing so we're just which basically kind of did at the start but yeah it's something that so we want to keep it flowing and we want yeah. to go in out in. so Skip in then exit, skip in. Yeah. When you're on this side, that hand stays there and then just this just opens. That hand stays. So it's look. Stay. Okay, so. so. Perfect. So go straight into the forget pulsing now, because that's beginner. Go okay. so straight into the drums. Yeah. Kind of kind of going there, but I was focusing too much on it. But yeah. It's a bit fast as well. Don't overcomplicate. And then when you're ready, over the top, and then go straight into the left. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. 
I think that was it, innit? So uh, yeah, we did much. all that and we finished with the side swings. Cool, good stuff. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. Next time, next week, uh, we go again. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in.